Welcome back everyone, Khalil here. Today I'm going to be walking you through the steel bowls from Steel Stick 64. Now I only have these bowls in this controller, this controller, and this controller. This one is a new OEM stick, and this one is the one that we installed the kitchen bent gears in, and the stick as well. So today, I'm actually going to be taking apart this controller. While this one has OEM gears in it, and the steel bowl, and this one has the um, the steel bowl and the kitchen bent gears. This one has worn out OEM gears and a steel bowl. So I'm gonna be putting some kitchen bent parts in this one. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna take you through the process of tearing this all down. I've done that before in videos. So I'm just gonna end right here, come back, and we'll have the joystick out. Now before I take out the joystick, I'm just going to talk to you about some other part of Steel 664 that I really like. And that is these caps. You can see each one's a little bit different. So for the transition controllers, I have a color match cap that matches the controller. But for this one, I have, since it's a blue and black controller, I have a blue and black cap on it, and this actually has a rubber sleeve around it for supposedly better grip, and it does have better grip. I still prefer this one though, it just feels more plasticky and OEM, but it's just another option that you have, and I'll show you how I made the OEM stick compatible with the cap. All right, so I now have the module out of the controller and taken apart. So inside, you will see there is a steel bolt in there. It's actual steel instead of just the plastic ones that come in OEM. You can see how it's press fit in there. And this is what he calls, I'll zoom out a little bit. So this is the package that comes in, it's a nice little flat package. And the bowl I got came in a package like this, only it was a steel bowl inside there instead of just a plastic one. And this is what he calls his B-grade. And what makes it a B-grade is it's a kitsch bent bowl rather than an OEM one. And so there might be some flash around the edges over here, where the gear goes in over here. It's kind of hard to show on camera. but. All those little holes, sometimes they need to just have a little sharp knife run through them so then they spin smoothly. And the steel bowl inside is not hardened, it's only polished. And that's the only difference, and I find it's just fine. It's not like the plastic little stick on the end of this is gonna rub through anything. So you get that. And I mentioned earlier the caps that it came with. So, for instance, the color matched green one. And take this one out. This one is a blue rubber with a um, black, black Derlin insert. And it's just screwed on there. And I'll show you how I did that. So it's just screwed on there, and what you do is you cut off the cap, you drill a hole, and you tap it, and then you just screw the cap on in. And with the Kitsch Bent joysticks, you can do that as well, as I did here. And that's actually what this green controller is, is a Kitsch Bent clear joystick with the cap chopped off versus an OEM one with the cap chopped off and I actually prefer the OEM it just glides better it doesn't feel like it's all sticky to the sides but it's personal choice I did it personally because I thought it would look better on the green but you can't notice it So that is what a B-grade steel bowl looks like.
In this video, there are a few different companies that I mentioned that I want to give a shout out to. So Steel 664, they have a lot of different products. They have the caps for the joystick, they have the steel bowl itself. They sell a module that is a whole steel stick module made by them, guaranteed to work perfectly, better than OEM specs, but that's got a huge waiting list, so good luck getting one. They've got um, custom buttons, all sorts of things. I'll leave the link in the description. Check them out. They're amazing. The only problem is it, I believe, is a one-man operation, and the guy who runs it, his name's Linus, he's very particular about what goes out of the store, which is a good thing, but his products also take a while to restock, and right now they're out of stock. But keep an eye on them, because when they come back in the stop, it is a very good product to have. Next, I want to talk about Kitsch Bent. Their parts are pretty cheap, but from what I've seen, they're pretty good quality. I haven't taken a look at their bowls yet, but I'm really excited to. They just restocked them, and I put in a big order, so I'll make a new video about that once I get them. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I have some new videos upcoming that are going to be about gaming, but not N64, so stay tuned!